It's already past 10 o'clock, so let's get into it. Okay, let's start by cracking uh, this guy. It's, uh, this is a 24 millimeter, and then so is the fill plug. And then we'll just drain this guy. Oh, that looks really good. Here's the uh, the plug too. Let me see if I can get a close view. It might be blurry anyways, but oh, there it is in the light. Yeah, that looks okay. So I just went ahead and replaced the drain bolt so I don't lose it. And I've already covered uh, all of this axle removal in a video I did about a year ago uh, regarding rear end work. So if you want to fall asleep, you can go back and watch that video. It's kind of boring. But for your sake, I'm going to go ahead and time lapse all of this. Seems like it's gonna come out easy here. Oh yes, like a butter, like a butter. <sighs> there you go, I keep looking at the screen. Bam! All right, let's compare these guys now. This one with the other axle. So in comparing the two axles here, uh, this is the one that I just pulled out of my car and this is the one that I bought that is a non-limited slip diff. And hopefully you can see the, um, the height difference or the length difference here. That's why we need to shave this one, um, that five to eight millimeters and then retaper it. But let me give you another illustration here um, of the difference. So this is the other way that you can determine exactly how much to shave. As you can see, the splines down uh, on this end are touching the, um, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what that's called. I think it's a seal, uh, the seal surface or seal bearing. And up here, you can clearly see the distance here, uh, the distance difference that needs to be shaved off. So that's what we're going for there. So that's pretty much all I can shoot for this episode. Um, I don't have a grinder and cutoff wheel yet, so I'm going to go and pick up uh, one of those tomorrow and also a, um, a file for some fine tuning. And yeah, we'll, we'll continue on tomorrow. Until then, you guys take care and keep the 86 alive. And here's some of the garage aftermath. Thank you.